Before we begin, I just wanted to let everybody know that I still don't have access to Arena on my account yet as I'm recording this, even though I've watched a ton of it online. I'll be making a video about Arena in its current state as soon as I get to play it and get some footage, but right now my hands are just tied. So I do apologize for taking so long in that matter, but on to the normal video, and thank you. Tarkov is known for its brevity of attachments on offer to customize your guns with. It's honestly intimidating when you first get into weapon modding proper in this game, with all the different options and locations that these pieces can be placed on. And while there is a surprising amount on offer, when you really understand the mechanics of weapon modding, there are only a handful of options that are actually worth using if you're trying to make the most out of your weapon. Of course, variety is the spice of life, and using different weapons, optics, suppressors, foregrips, switching these parts out every now and again helps cure some of that potential boredom that can come with late wipe Tarkov. Using the exact same weapon with the exact same attachments over repeatedly can get boring. And yes, some people enjoy that gameplay loop and only want to use the best to have the highest chance of survival out there. There's no shame in that. But when it comes to attachments and specifically different optics in the game, Everyone has their own preferences with certain dots and scopes on different weapons. Obviously things like the Razor and the Voodoo will always be highly sought after because they are effective and what they do. But even with smaller optics like red dots, people have their own favorites. And unfortunately over the years, BSG has had some, let's call it adjustments to how some of these red dots and scopes generally operate in the game. So very specifically, the RMR Micro Red Dot has been absolutely gutted in Escape from Tarkov, and it is unfortunate because for the longest time, it was one of the better micro dots in the entire game. Today, I wanted to go talk about this red dot, go over what happened to it, and the general mentality with optics in the game, and how they can be better preserved for the future as we continue to get new parts added into the game. So if you're interested in this conversation, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos in a similar vein. The RMR is one of the oldest red dots in Tarkov. It's been in the game for as long as I've been playing it, and during that time, it has sadly been changed at one point when BSG made some other changes to many of the optics in the game and how they function. If I recall correctly, it was the same patch when the size of the Voodoo scope when zoomed in was made smaller, which was June 30th, 2021, patch 12.11. Many optics were changed, but the RMR was simply and objectively nerfed into the ground. Before, what was a crisp micro red dot with an easily distinguishable clear red optic became this fat, obtuse, blurry, and swaying orange dot that struggles to stay in the center of your screen when aiming. I don't have any screenshots or footage of the old dot, but if you were to look up videos from before 2021, you will see how amazing that red dot was if someone's using it. It was easily my go-to micro dot for the longest time, even beating out choices like the Delta Point, which has become the new standard whenever you need a micro dot for on top of a mount or on a canted site. But allow me to be a little bit more specific about why the RMR is such an awful red dot now. For example, if anyone's ever used the 4 times ACOG scope in the game that allows you to rest the RMR on top of it for an optional swap to something that isn't magnified, before, the RMR was accurate and excellent as a backup option right on top of the scope. But now, the RMR performs arguably the worst in this instant. It's wobbly all over the place, you can never actually see the damn thing when you zoom in, and walking around while aiming with it is asking to get yourself killed. Very similar to how when you lose an arm and try to aim down a scoped weapon and fire in full auto, you get nothing but the scope shadow because it takes so long for your optic to get up to your eye. The same concept applies to the RMR in any situation you are using it. It takes too long to get onto the dot, and even when you get there, the recoil from your weapon is most likely going to send the RMR's dot off screen, meaning you can't get accurate fire onto whatever it is that you're shooting. To me, this is an immediate failure of the red dot and should never be used under any circumstances, even if you're a weirdo like me and want to have some variety in the weapons you modify, this just should not be used in its current condition. And the fact that this optic was at one point a solid option in this game makes it all the more bitter. It also begs the question of why some optics are just so awful in the game. We know why the good ones are well good, but the bad optics, each one tells a different story. Both versions of the EOTech with the added magnifier just make your weapon perform worse. 
It's a wild anomaly in the game that has never been properly addressed. Technically, they were also adjusted in that optics rework patch, but this negative quirk has been left on those optics since the update. They zoom in and out more appropriately, yeah, but at the cost of basically doubling the recoil of your weapon. So unless you are using a DMR or anything in single fire only, sadly these will need to be avoided as well. The PLAD red dot is another weird example of an optic that was once decent at its job, but has since been changed to just a bad option unless you have nothing else. The reticle's thick and clunky, and there's only one option really worth using. The PK-06 is also something I would say has fallen from grace, but this one was more intentional on BSG's part because apparently that optic in real life is just awful, so they wanted to mirror that. And while I would disagree with intentionally nerfing good attachments instead of making more obtuse options better, in this one instance I guess I can say the change was justified, but like, barely. And it isn't just the red dot category that has some awful options, even the full-blown sniper scopes have options that most should shy away from. The most obvious is the March Tactical Scope. The biggest issue is that it only has one magnification, and that is the 14 times magnification, which is an absurd amount for a scope by itself. But I honestly think if this scope got a lower magnification to go alongside that 14 times, the scope would legitimately be enjoyable to use. Maybe something like a base of four or five times zoom. Because as a proud Senholt user for many years now, super long range scopes do have a place in this game. Sure, they're a little unwieldy to use sometimes, but that massive range can be extremely effective sometimes, especially on maps like Woods and even Reserve. But again, there are more scopes with problems in the game than those without. It's a shame this hasn't been a conceited effort to make some of the lesser used optics more appealing instead of everybody being willing to drop six figures on two different scopes. And we know they aren't afraid to unwillingly do this. They fixed the bugs with the Schmidt and Bender 1 and 8 times scope, so now that optic is some of people's go-to for range instead of the Voodoo or the Razor. I am unsure how BSG wants these kinds of optics in the game to function. It would just make life easier if all the scopes were viable and then people could find the ones they enjoy using the most and just run those until their heart's content. But there has always been an unintentional bias towards optics throughout Tarkov's life. Not every scope is made equal, sadly, but imagine if they were. It's another one of those fantasies that keeps me up at night, knowing that if the scopes were adjusted to be better and not worse, we might see some more variety than we already do. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a ton of variety in the game already, and there will always add more attachments with each big update, but it would be nice to have some sort of universal adjustment across the board that fixes the issues that currently plague many of the different optics in the game already. Scopes, optics, red dots, they all have their issues within those categories, and the RMR has rubbed me the wrong way ever since it was changed. It was the catalyst for this entire conversation, but it goes much deeper than just the RMR. That micro dot is just one of the easier examples in the game of something that was perfect and then was changed for no real good reason and made entirely worse because of it, which is a shame. Hopefully these kinds of optics that have had problems for years now can eventually see the light of day and get some use across the player base, because as powerful as the Voodoo and Razor Scopes are, they get boring after a while. I mean, I know I'm in the minority when I say that, but it's always so cool to see someone run a hammer, a bravo, or an ACOG scope on their gun. Either way, the RMR sucks, it didn't at one point, don't use it, and it still makes me sad that it got nerfed for whatever reason. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below about the RMR or just scopes in general in Tarkov, and be sure to subscribe for more videos about the things in the game that were once awesome but no longer are, and Arena whenever the fuck I can get in and actually play it. I hope to see you in future ones.